Some important strides being made there now from planes to trains because talks aimed at resolving the dispute on southern railways ahead of tomorrow's walkout have ended without agreement. It means the third strike this week will go ahead with further disruption planned for next week. Let's get more details now from Mark Ashdown. Mark. Yes, Assad. Uh, about 250 rail passengers uh, gathered at Victoria Station about an hour ago and they've just marched from there to here, the Department of Transport. They've been chanting, DFT, shame on you. They very clearly want the government to intervene and solve this uh, dispute quickly. They've endured months of uh, rail misery, almost a year really. But one of the organisers, Martin Abrams, is with me. Martin, so what can the government do, do you think? Well, the government needs to intervene, and they need to intervene now. You know, the book stops with the government. The book stops with the Secretary of State for Transport, Chris Grayling, and he's taking absolutely no responsibility, basically, for the collapse of one of the biggest franchises in the country, and that's having a devastating impact on people's lives every single day. Yeah, do you think, I mean, this looks like people at the end of their tether, really? Well, yeah, enough is enough now, and, you know, people have come out, they've given up their evenings, we're outside the DFT with a very clear message. Grayling must intervene, otherwise he must resign. It is as simple as that now. You know, people are paying thousands and thousands of pounds for a substandard service, and it is beyond appalling the impact it's having on people's lives. And, you know, we want to make it very clear that this isn't about the, the strikes. You know, there's been 18 strike days um, this year. That's 18 strike days too many. But what about the other 347 non-strike days this year where we've had to endure an absolutely appalling service? So, you know, we'd like to send a very clear message to the media and the public listening that it isn't just about the strikes. You know, that is a symptom of a failing company. The cause is a failing company and a mismanagement by the government who are taking no responsibility. Okay. Well, listen, thanks for joining us. Well, they, they can certainly hear you, I'm sure. Uh, well, the misery isn't over. Tomorrow uh, is another strike day. There will be a full walkout tomorrow, and there's more pain ahead over the coming weeks as well. Uh, Monday next week and Tuesday, there is another strike. Then uh, on New Year's Eve, a strike which rolls over into the new year, so that one goes on to the 2nd of January. Then the following week, a full six days of strike action from Monday the 9th to Saturday the 14th of January. So much more pain ahead for these rail passengers. Yeah, some strong feelings being voiced there. Thanks very much for that, Mark.